Capricorns, let's see what the next 72 hours has in store. Okay, hold on, too many cards. So the theme for this time frame, we have the moon card. Career and finance, we have the queen of wands. Love, we have the seven of cups. Possible challenge is the queen of cups. The advice is the sun card. What you're not aware of is the seven of wands. What to avoid is the world card and outcome is the knight of cups. Let's pull some oracle cards to the next 72 hours for my Capricorns. Okay, so we have prioritized self-care. You do so much for others, it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and to let others help you. So, Capricorns, it is important. Outside of you working, outside of you being a parent, outside of you being a wife, a husband, a loving family member, <laughs> Somebody who has day-to-day -day responsibilities that you have to take care of. It's important that you're prioritizing you. When was the last time that you allowed yourself to relax, enjoy some Netflix, drink you a glass of wine, or whatever you find to be relaxing? Because it doesn't even have to look like that. But when was the last time you essentially prioritize self-care? Even if it's like for 15, 30 minutes a day. Doing that is what's going to keep you sane. And the next 72 hours, that's essentially what you need to do. Because there could be so many things that you're trying to get done and you constantly being on the move, you could be feeling a little bit out of it. Okay, and you could be feeling a lot more stressed because you're putting these expectations on yourself to just keep going without refueling. Okay, I'm hearing that some of you guys are not getting enough sleep. Some of you guys are not eating enough foods that are nurturing to the body. So this is what this time frame is asking you for. We also have, when you ask for help with an open heart, it will come. So both of these cards are talking about help, needing help. So you could be needing emotional support. You could be needing financial support. And some of you are so scared to ask for it that if you did genuinely ask for it, you'll be shocked where, you know, you could have somebody who's close to you who could help you or who is willing to help you. And if this isn't like you needing help from a physical person and it's more so the universe, you need the universe to guide you and to, you know, give you insight on which direction to move in, asking for that help is essentially what you're, you're needing to do, whether that's through prayer, through meditation, through speaking to your ancestors, whatever way you feel like you need to communicate that you need help with your ancestors, your spiritual team, with God, that's what you're, you're needing to do for the next 72 hours because they're willing to support you and help you, but they just need to know how. Now, let's go deeper the first card is going to represent the theme. And with the moon card, there are certain worries and fears that you guys are having to address. And now these could be fears that are unfounded. Most of the time, fears are this expectation of things that aren't even going to happen. These expectations of them happening and it being like this worst nightmare coming true, basically. And the theme in this time frame is about you addressing your fears, how your fears could be stopping you from becoming the person that you want to be or doing the things that you want to do. Now, also, the theme could be focused around secrets or things that you just don't really know too much about. You could feel like certain individuals around you are keeping secrets or not telling you what's going on with them. Okay, you could be wondering what's going on with someone and there could be a lot that is actually going on with them and it's more than what meets the eye. Okay, but if anybody is keeping secrets during this time frame, 
it could be revealed or you could notice. Now, let's look at career and finance. I have the Queen of Wands. So there could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual at your workplace who you could be kind of slightly getting into it with. Or you could be trying to be on top of your stuff by exhibiting the Queen of Wands energy, which is being bold, which is being commanding, which is being honest, attentive, willing to take action, especially for my Capricorns who are self-employed or like in a manager position or in a position to where you're able to just let your best characteristics shine, to be honest. Okay, you guys could be working on something and you could be very confident that if you keep putting energy and effort behind what you're doing, that you will be successful. Also for my Capricorns who are creative in nature, you could just be finding that your creative juices are flowing during this time frame and that you're really in your element. Now, when it comes to love, I have the Seven of Cups. <laughs> So you could have several options, but eh, there could be something that you just don't emotionally connect with, with any of them, to be honest. You could feel like there's more to, to these individuals, more than what meets the eye. So an example of this, you could have like three different people that you're getting to know. One person, you could be really attracted to them, but uh, they could be emotionally a little bit distant. Then you could have another person that you're not really that attracted to them, but you really like their personality. And then you could have another person where it's like an ex and things are just really, really confusing between you two. So it's like there's something with each and every one of them that's just a little bit eh, iffy. For my singles, you could be open to exploring your options, but maybe you're not finding people that you just feel compatible with. Like it just doesn't feel like it's there. Okay. And even for my Capricorn who are in a relationship, you could feel emotionally confused at times. Some days you could feel still open to your person. Other days you may feel mostly disconnected. Like it's just different emotions that either your person's displaying and it confuses you or vice versa. You could be, you know, going through different emotions and your person could be confused. Hmm. Now the challenge when it comes to just the overall 72 hours is the queen of cups. So this could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio individual who could be challenging you in a way. Or this could be keeping your emotions contained. You could be on high intense emotions and it could be hard for you to compose, maybe expressing those emotions or acting on those emotions. Okay. These emotions could come up in, you know, maybe the most inappropriate times or just in the most tense times. So if you are feeling certain emotions and you're not allowing yourself to deal with them, be careful of them coming out at maybe the wrong times. Okay. But yeah, somebody also could be trying to emotionally trigger you. And that could be the challenge too, is not reacting off of what this person is trying to get you to react off of. Now, the advice with the sun card... See things for how it is. The more that you accept the reality of your situation and deal with that, then looking at things from rose-colored glasses, the better. Because when you're not looking at things from a point of reality, you're allowing yourself to make decisions from a distorted view. Also with the sun card, this prioritizing your happiness, doing things that make you happy. And this is understanding what true happiness means. You first have to know what that means for you for you to tap into it. So if you're having like a hard time tapping into happiness without external influences like people, money, all those other things, taking time to examine what truly makes you happy during this next 72 hours is gonna really benefit you. Now, what you're not aware of with the seven of spears, let me move this, or the seven of wands, it's essential that you protect your energy. You could have certain people who 
are like purposely sending bad energy your way, bad juju, sending you the evil eye, wishing bad on you. So you need to be mindful of being around those types of people or allowing those types of people to think that they could just waltz in into your life whenever they decide to. Also, what you may not be aware of is how there are certain obstacles or issues you're running into Hmm, that could be connected to decisions or choices that you've been putting off. And until you make these choices or these decisions, it's going to keep becoming a problem. Some of you guys also may not be aware of the fact that somebody may have blocked you. This could be like a Leo, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Really doesn't matter the zodiac sign, but you could be trying to reach out to someone and they may have the communication blocked. Now, what to avoid with the world card? Uh, this is pretty much going backward. Whenever the world card comes into play, this is like a full circle moment. This is the end of a cycle. So what you want to avoid is going back into a cycle that you've already ended, where you've learned your lesson or were meant to learn your lesson and to just let that go. There's no need for you to date certain individuals again, um, be concerned about like older cycles that you were in because that cycle is done. There was a lesson to experience from that and for you to move forward. Also, if you are traveling, you want to avoid traveling somewhere without taking in consideration of like precautions or like all things while traveling. Okay, now last card, this is going to represent the outcome with the Knight of Cups. There could be a, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio individual who could be acting emotionally all over the place. So you really do want to protect your energy when it comes to dealing with other people, specifically this Zodiac sign. Um, also, you could find yourself as the Knight of Cups, where emotionally you're feeling one way, then another second you could be feeling another way, and you could just be high on high intense emotions in general. Um, there also could be some news, some information that comes your way, so definitely make sure you're checking all forms of communication. Okay, you could even have somebody trying to hit on you or come on to you romantically. And this is kind of throw you off because this could be somebody who you're already kind of casually cool with. But this is what I see. I hope that this did give you insight and I will talk to you in the next one.